So I've just created a simple compound shape using an additive box brush and combining that with a subtractive cylinder brush to create a cube with a cylindrical hole through the middle of it. And now what I'm going to do is to convert that shape into a single static mesh. So to do that I need to select both of my brushes that are combining to create my shape. So I'm just holding down the command key while I select both of them over here in the scene outliner. And then down here in the details panel I'm going to click this button that says create static mesh. Then I'll give my mesh a name. And um, navigate to whichever folder. I'm just going to leave it out here in the game folder and click create static mesh. And then double click to go inside that new static mesh. So if I just rotate around you can see, yep, it's a good static mesh exactly how we want it to look. But they come in with no collision. So with the collision button selected you go up here to where it says collision. And this is a pretty simple shape so I'm just going to add a box simplified collision but if you wanted to you could add more complex ones by choosing one of these other options here. So that's given me a simple collision box collision outline around my shape. If at this stage you then apply a material to your object it will look as though everything is now okay with the compound brush shape that you've created. But there's actually one more step that you need to do. If you build your lighting before doing this step what you'll see is that your material will come in all dark looking. So double click on your shape in the content browser to open the static mesh editor. Then inside the static mesh editor you want to find scroll down in the details panel to find the static mesh settings and just click this little arrow to open them out if you can't see them. And you can also click these arrows to get more out of any section if it's collapsed. So the two parts that you want to change is the light map resolution. You want to set it to a power of two number, which most of the static meshes within that come default within Unreal Engine 4 are set to 64. So I've just set it to 64. And then here you want to set the light map coordinate index to be 1. Once you've done that and you've built your lighting, the material that you've applied to your shape that used to be dark will now look normal.